everyone comes alive when we draw the GTA 5. And over there is Mommy Longlegs. And anything I draw on my phone becomes cursed. Let's test it on Huggy first. So very quickly, I'm gonna draw Huggy Wuggy. He's got a belly, of course. One arm, two arm, then two legs. Color him in. Then the really fun part begins. We're gonna make him super cursed. First, he's gotta have a head, of course. Let's give him some hands and some feet. Beautiful. Big, scary mouth, of course. Eyeball, eyeball. Scary teeth. And there's Huggy. I'm gonna make him cursed by giving him extra eyeballs right over here on his belly. Also in his face. He's gonna be like a spider huggy or something. They're gonna be like really red and kind of evil and stuff. Oh, he's gonna be so cursed. And then we're gonna try it on mommy long legs. I gotta watch out that they don't see me though. If they see me drawing them into cursed toys, they're probably gonna attack me and eat me alive. And now for some big spider legs. Guys, I'm telling you, this is gonna be so scary. I'll leave a like on the video, huh? At 50,000 likes, we're gonna play more with mommy long legs. And also the other long legs family members, we're gonna make cursed. Guys, I don't know about you, but this is starting to look pretty cursed to me, all right? Now, let's see if it works. I'm gonna tap my phone screen three times. And that huggy over there is gonna become cursed. One, two, three! It's gone from my phone, and whoa! Oh, my goodness! No way, what happened to him? We gotta check this out, guys. Look at him! I can't get too close, of course. Whoa, but I can use my scope to check it out. He's got, like, skulls and spider legs. Oh, no way! But very quietly, now we're gonna draw Mommy long legs. I still have a drawing of Mommy on my phone. So, let's use that to make her super cursed. I'm gonna give her a giant red mouth, just like that. And then big scary teeth, just like Huggy Wuggy. And a giant eyeball right over here in her belly. Oh man, this is gonna be so mega cursed. With the pupil in there, there you go. And mommy is gonna have really long fingers that are sticking out absolutely everywhere. Oh man. Oh, and what about some big demon wings. She's gonna be a demon, guys. How cursed is that, huh? Beautiful. Just like that. Oh, and if she is gonna be a demon, we should probably draw a giant pentacle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the devil is gonna like this. Guys, I'm not evil, okay? I, I, I do good things, I promise you. But when we're making cursed toys, this is what we gotta do. I'm sorry, okay? You know what? Let's color in these wings a little bit, just like that. Beautiful. And now we gotta think, how can we make her more cursed, huh? How about some spikes? Oh, yes, she's gonna be like super spiky. Because demons have horns and stuff. We could give her some horns. Maybe we should do that with Daddy Longlegs, huh? But yeah, demons also have spikes and stuff, you know? I know, she just looks like a hairy gorilla. But if I drew this right, she should become super cursed. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, wait a minute. What happened to mommy? Guys, we must watch out. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I'm scared. <gasps> no, why? Look at mommy. Wait. And look, that's Daddy Longlegs. Hey, is he walking his dog? Perfect, now we can turn Daddy into a cursed one as well. I don't have a drawing of Daddy Longlegs, but I do have a drawing of his dog. So let's give him some really scary cursed eyeballs. These are gonna be massive and totally scary. Gotta hurry up though, otherwise Daddy Longlegs is gonna try and rescue Mommy. Who's now super cursed? Look at these red eyes. Oh man, this one is gonna be super cursed. Let's go. That looks beautiful. Oh man. And just like Mommy Longlegs, He's gonna have those pentacles. But he's gonna have more than one. And it's gonna be a beautiful blue color for him. All right, let's give him one more right over here. Beautiful, look at that. Gorgeous drawing. Let's go a little bit closer to him to see if it works right there. He is, oh man. One, two, three. No way, I think it worked. Wow, look at him. Oh my goodness. Oh no, oh no, what happened to my dog? Oh, 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 it's all right. oh no, oh no, what do I do? Yo, guys, quickly, we're gonna turn Kissy Missy into to a super cursed one as well. Let's give her a whole new face. Absolutely massive mouth. Big scary eyes. Just like PJ Pogapiller. And we're gonna make this one so cursed. We gotta hurry up though before Daddy Longlegs figures out how to rescue them. Let's make this a little dark over here, you know, just like that. Get her some nasty teeth. Oh my goodness, look at that. And we're also gonna give her a giant tail. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, that's a really big one. It's so big, I'm drawing off the screen, everyone. This is gonna be so super super cursed. It's gonna be the biggest, scariest spider bone looking tail thing. I don't know, guys. It's cursed, okay? Don't blame me, all right? Here we go, Kissy Missy. Hold on to your tail. One, two, three. No way. <laughs> it worked. Look at that tail. Oh my goodness. It's like a demon horn. Oh, and look at her arm. And her mouth, look, that's the big mouth we drew. No, <laughs> those eyeballs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait, 
I think I know what to do. Uh oh, wait, does Daddy know what to do? I gotta hurry up and turn him cursed as well. So let's super quickly draw him. So that's his body. This is his lower body. Then we gotta connect it. Give him some arms and some legs. Some things to connect it all with. And... And feet, nice and fast. Oh, right, there's some details over here as well, like his little bow tie and stuff. Nice little head, of course. There you go. Mustache, mustache. I think he's got a little bit of hair as well. And his head, of course. Oh, that's quite orange, but I think the game will recognize it. And we just need it to turn him into a cursed daddy. Oh, right, I know what to do. Uh, I gotta get baby long legs in here. Is he talking about baby long legs? Right, now we're gonna make him super cursed with dark eyes. He's gonna have a scary rib cage right over here. Just like the other cursed ones. And he's gonna have a dark head, like a really tall top head. And of course, a scary mouth. Yes! Just like that. And some teeth. Oh, look at his arms and legs. Those kind of look like bones, you know? <gasps> what if that's gonna make him super cursed? One, two, three! I feel weird. <laughs> Stay away from me, baby long legs. I'm not good. Whoa, no way. Look at Daddy Long Legs. He's got the bones in the ribcage. But no baby long legs is here as well. Oh, that does not look good. <gasps> and Poppy is here. Wait, did I have a Poppy drawing? That means we can make a curse. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and make her whole skin nice and blue. Kind of like a rotten zombie, you know. Yep, just like that. Oh, my goodness. You know what? She's going to get a new mouth anyway. So I can just color right on over it. Let's give her some more green details right over here. Oh, my God. Because I can't believe they're here. Obviously, she's going to get a big scary mouth, right? And some completely dead looking eyes. Oh, man. This is going to be so cursed. It's going to be like a zombie puppy or something. All right, let's see if this works. One, two, three. <gasps> no way. Look at that, guys. The skin, the mouth, the eyes. It worked. Whoa. Awesome. So now we can draw. Baby... Long legs. Wait a minute. That's Bonzo Bunny. Where did he come from? Guys, we should first turn him cursed. And look, I've got a drawing of him as well. You know what? We're gonna make him all red and stuff. He's gonna be red like a demon. Or he's just covered in ketchup. I don't know. Either one of those things, you know. There you go. Just like that. We have to turn Bonzo Bunny cursed as well. Because otherwise, if we turn the baby cursed, he's gonna know something is wrong. All right, big scary mouth. You guys know the drill. With some teeth. Let's go. Let's give him some really big horns. That are sticking out right over here. Oh, yes, guys. This one is gonna be mega cursed. All right, and now to finish it off, a nice little pentacle right over here on your belly. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. No way, look at that. And we're quickly gonna draw the cursed baby long legs. Then the whole long legs family is gonna be totally cursed. I'm gonna give him a skull head. Oh, yes, that's gonna be awesome. Just like that. Gonna have, like, teeth over here. And then some scary eyes over here. Oh, and some bones right over here, just, like, sticking out. Let's see if we can make him cursed. One, two, three. Wait, guys, it didn't work. Where is he? Uh-oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Ah! I am baby long legs. Oh no, and I'm totally cursed. Look at that. <laughs> I am drawing a secret animal to bring it to life in GTA 5. We are at a swamp, so I thought let's draw a big snake. I'm pretty sure these live right over here. And if I'm correct and I make a good drawing, I can tap my phone screen three times and then it should be brought to life. This is one of many secret animals that I know how to draw. And in this video, we're going to draw all of them and bring them all to life. If I survive, that is. So this danger noodle is gonna have a tongue and of course it's like split like this, right? Like a like a snake. And I'm pretty sure snakes have yellow eyes. Ooh, that looks nice. And then a little dot in there as well. So this is Mr. Snake. And we're gonna see if we can bring him to life. One, two, three. It's gone for my phone, but I don't think it worked. Oh, maybe it did. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh my goodness, what? Th that snake is massive. Oh, guys, I should not have brought this thing to life. That's way too dangerous. We gotta get out of here. I gotta hide behind this tree. If this snake sees me, he's gonna eat me. I mean, look at that giant mouth. Oh, man. Oh, I've got an idea. I'm gonna draw a spider. So this is gonna be the body of the spider. Just like that. And then the head comes right over here, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we need some spider legs, of course. How many legs does a spider have? I think eight, right? Two, three, four, five. All right, guys, a quick spider to distract that giant snake. And then I wanna draw animals that are way more secret and fun. One. 
two, three. It's gone from my phone. And that. Ah! Oh, wait, wait. Ah! Spiders, spiders everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, what was that? Why is there so many of them? Ah! Oh, they're following me. They're following me. Oh, man, we got to run. We got to run big time. Ew. Thankfully, the snake doesn't notice us. I'm going to run all the way up this mountain to hide from those spiders. Ooh, okay, now we are safe. Let's go ahead and draw a way more fun animal. This it's going to be a kangaroo. So we're going to have a tail over here. And that's a leg. And this is his belly. And this is his head like this. All right. That looks a little weird. This is going to work out. We got another foot over here. Now we got to get rid of that. That looks terrible. Just like this, baby. Yep. And then we need some arms. So this is going to be a kangaroo arm. All right, guys. And this actually turned out pretty nice. I'm going to color this in kind of orangey, yellowy, I think. All right, so now for the face. This is this is always the most difficult thing to draw, right? I'm gonna give it some ears and then a nice little mouth and two eyes, right? Oh my goodness. No, no, the face. I always ruined that. You know what? It's fine. I'm gonna draw a kangaroo and bring it to life, okay? One, two, three. It's gone from my phone and look, finally, we have drawn a kangaroo. Hey, wait a minute, sir. Sir, what are you doing? Stay back. I, I am allergic to kangaroos. I already showed it. No, sir, please, 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 please don't do that. Please, that, that's something I can draw for you, right? You see, I, I got this phone and I can draw anything. It, it even says anything. What? Oh, I am so allergic. The, the only thing that works is, is a bull. I need to smell the fur of a bull. Sir, I can draw a bull for you. Please do not pull the trigger, all right? I'm going to draw it. So this is the back of the bull. And this is going to be his first leg. And this is second one. I just got a little tail over here just like that. All right, two more legs over here. Oh, man, it looks awful. But I'm a little nervous. He's gonna shoot our super cute baby kangaroo. But wait, look, this is gonna be the head, right? And then give it some horns because bulls have horns, right? All right, let's color this in. Sir, are you okay? <laughs> No, no, I'm not okay. Hurry up. No, okay, 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 okay. Please don't shoot. Uh, Guys, post a comment while I'm drawing this bull, all right? And post that comment for the baby kangaroo. This is so sad. All right, so this is a bull, right? All we gotta do now is give it some big, whoa, some big horns. There you go, just like that. All right, that, that, that's not bad, right? That's kind of a horn, I guess. And now for an eye and a very angry little eyebrow. Yes. Oh, he's not, he's not happy. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna cheat, okay? I'm gonna write bull in the center of the bull so that maybe the game knows that's what I'm trying to draw. It's not my best drawing, but we gotta hurry up. One, two, three. He's gone from my phone and it worked. We get a bull. Where did that man go, though? Oh, what did you do to me? Oh, wait. Do we... Do we turn this man into a bull? Ha! That's what you get, man! Yo, guys, I've got a great idea. We're gonna hide right over here. And then we're gonna draw the fastest animal that I know. Which is... A giraffe. Now, we turned this other man into a bull. That was hilarious. And I think we can turn ourselves into a giraffe. That is why I am hiding at this cave. For tens of thousands of years, animals have found shelter over here. So that's like animal spirits just like floating around or something, you know? All right, so this is the body of the giraffe. And this is the tail. And then this is gonna be his hand. Right? No, wait, that's more like a horse. Get rid of that. No, 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 no. Giraffe has a long neck. Look at that. That's nice. That's a big neck. All right, so I'm pretty sure that giraffes have some, like, white details and, like, dots or something. Something is white about a giraffe. I, I just don't quite know what it is yet. But it's all right, guys. This is a beautiful drawing. I want to be a giraffe, all right? All right, over here at the tail, we have a little bit of thingy, and I think we have some hooves or something. I, I guess this is what a giraffe looks like, right? I don't know if it's a good guess, though. <laughs> oh, no. All right, time for my favorite part. We're going to draw the face, all right? He's going to be happy, but he's also gonna be like a little bit weird, you know. I'll take it, guys. One, two, and three. <gasps> yes, it worked. No way, look at that. I am a giraffe. No way. Wait, 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 wait. Can I still draw? I don't know, guys. I don't think I can hold a phone anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna draw, or at least try, the biggest monkey in the world. So we've got some arm with a hand over here, and then a leg over here with a foot. There you go, and he's gonna be big, right? So I'm drawing this monkey. Literally, 
as big as possible. Look at that. But wait, we gotta get rid of his hands because those look really weird, right? He needs some fingers. There you go. That's a monkey head. Yeah, much better. All right, so now we color him in. And we're gonna start with a really dark fur that a chimp has. And I'm gonna leave the feet and the hands nice and open because those are gonna be a different color. Yes, big brain. All right, so this is gonna be more like a skin color, right? So that's one hand. Oh, this is nice. And a second hand. And I know a secret way to make sure that the game understands we need the world's biggest monkey because otherwise you just get a regular monkey. There you go. And then we gotta draw, I think, his chest right like this, right? Yep. Color that in. Beautiful. And these are his abs. Pretty strong abs. There you go. It's gonna be a big, strong monkey. That's right. And his face right over here. There you go. There you go. It's a good monkey, though. It's not an angry monkey, okay? It's a nice monkey. Bring this up a little bit. There you go. And now we just gotta give him some muscles, right? So it really looks strong and muscly. Just like that. Yeah. Eyeballs go right over here. Oh, man. He's gonna look so weird. Oh, no. There you go. And that's the monkey. Hey, look at that. It's a big monkey. Now, for the secret way, behind him, we are gonna draw a really big green arrow. And it is as big as possible, right? Because if you draw a green arrow that goes up and then you tap your phone three times, it will make anything you draw bigger. Oh, yes! And this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen! If that's not a beautiful drawing, I don't even know anymore, guys. One, two, three! It's gone from my phone and oh my! I see some monkey feet! And I also see a monkey hand over there! No way! Look at this thing! Oh, yes, guys! We brought it to life! The world's biggest monkey! I am drawing that card to turn it into money. If I draw it correctly, I can tap my phone screen three times. And then it should turn into money so we get super rich. I want to get a billion dollars so we can buy the most expensive thing in the world. So let's go ahead and color this in just like that. And wait a minute, there's a way more expensive car over there. <gasps> yeah, we got to draw that one too. Well, let's first draw this red one, huh? So we got some black wheels. With some really spiky looking spikes. All right, that's starting to look kind of basic, I gotta say. All right, we got a window going to the back and then like this. Yep. Oh, and also a window in the back here. Got a little mirror, a vent, and maybe an exhaust, huh? All right, that's a pretty weird drawing, but I'm gonna tap my screen three times to turn it into money. One, two, three. Oh, and it's gone. We just got $40,000 from that. Now, before we draw this really expensive car, I'm gonna draw the parking meter. Let's see how much money is inside of a parking meter, huh? Yeah, right? Then it's got like a weirdly shaped little body thing over here. And then at the top, we've got a little round thingy. All right, let's color that in with some gray. And then I'm gonna tap my phone screen three times to see if we can make a little money here, huh? Hey, 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 stop looking at that car, man. The final details, just like that. And I'm ready to turn this into cash. One, two, three! Hey, and there it goes! $384. All right, let's draw this really expensive one, huh? So it's all made out of wait what I, I i i can't i can't draw anymore what is this it's so it's literally not working anymore but it says insufficient money oh man we can't draw this i guess we're gonna draw more things to earn more money how about i draw this tree so it's got like a little box thingy oh that's almost the same color as the background color that in then we've got the tree itself i'm just gonna give this a quick little outline that's also a cross on it so let's put that on there and now let's see a bunch of green stuff this is starting to look like that tree right i mean guys this is a beautiful drawing let's see how much a tree is worth huh one two Three! Let's get it, guys! Oh, wait! $1,200? <gasps> wait a minute! That lady over there! We gotta draw a lady! <laughs> Don't mind me, lady! Oh, she's looking at me! Oh! I tried to hide behind this pool, but it didn't work at all! Alright, so she has red boots, like this. And then she's got some kind of black pants or something? Oh, man, this is gonna be so weird. Can we turn this lady into money? Alright, she's got a yellow skirt. Good. Just like this, it's starting to come together, guys. I can't wait to tap my phone screen. There we go. Oh, actually, it's like a dress of some sort. All right, some short sleeves. They're kind of round looking, right? There you go, just like that. Then she's got some black top over here. Yeah, like this. And then all we gotta do is draw her face. Oh, that is not a good color. Hold on. Oh, that's not gonna be a pretty face. Oh. 
All right, one arm over here. Oh, that's a weird arm. Oh, man. I'm, I'm used to drawing monsters, guys. This is this is gonna look like a monster. All right, give her some fingers. I, I think five, right? Yes. Nice little head over here. Some sunglasses, just like that. <laughs> and some sad but She doesn't look so happy. All right, and the necklace over here. Uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. It doesn't really look like the lady, but let's see if it works. One, two, three. Ah, and she's gone. Oh. <gasps> Where we get over a million dollars? Oh man, oh man, oh man. Is that enough to draw this car? I'm gonna draw it. No, no! Hey, wait a minute, guys. Look over there. That's Chop and Franklin. Yo, 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 yo. I wanna draw Chop. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this car part. Because we can't draw that thing yet. It's right over there. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw Chop. So this is one of his legs. Yeah, kinda like that. Alright, this is his back. And this is his really cute little tail. Alright, alright. I'm not off to a bad start here, guys. This is gonna be Chop. We're gonna turn him into money. Oh, is that gonna be sad? Because last time we turned him into money with a pistol. And you guys said it was actually kind of sad. Now we gotta draw his head over here. Just like this. Oh, no, that looks like a bird. I can fix it, guys. I can fix it. I promise you, okay? And I have to fix it because otherwise he's not gonna turn into money. So his head is more like this and more like this, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I think I got this. I mean, that actually looks like a dark hole on. And he's got some, like, kind of darker orange tones over here on his feet. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. There you go. And then also in his face over here. Oh, no, it's starting to look like a mouth. I don't want to make him look super smiley, you know? He's not smiley right now. <laughs> a little bit over here as well. There's a little bit over here too. Yeah, that kind of looks Wait, we need a tongue. There you go, just like that. That's his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, he's got no eyes. There you go, Chop. You're gonna get a nice little eyeball over here. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. That's Chop. And we're going to turn him into money. One, two, three. Oh, and there he goes. He was worth five million dollars. Right, we got to get out of here before Franklin finds out. I'm not going to draw this car to turn it into money. Because I'm going to take it to the airport as fast as possible. Whoa. Oh, yes, guys. Look over there. It's a private jet. Oh, my goodness. And it's landing. We got to draw it. And we got to turn it into money. But I think we got to stop it. Stop. Stop the plane. Stop the plane! Oh, oh, no, you hit me! Oh, no! Oh, yes, the plane stopped. Oh, wait, there's a pilot! Don't stop it! I wanna, I wanna turn your plane into money! Get out of here! All right, there we go. All right, so this is gonna be a stretchy drawing. I wonder if this airplane is gonna be more expensive than that really expensive car I wanted to draw. I still wanna draw it, by the way. All right, then the back goes up like this. Yes, very nice thing. We gotta color this in. All right, and we need a wing, of course. Oh, guys, this is starting to look amazing. We need a wing over here as well. And it's gonna be all super super dark like this. Oh, and these wings also have a little thingy over here. Right, and also some wheels in the back. So also one in the front. Yep, of course, of course, of course. And all I gotta do is draw the engine, which is right over there, right? Yep. And some windows. Otherwise, I don't think it's gonna turn into money. How much? Does a private jet cost? It's gonna have to be a fortune, right? Oh, man, please let me finish this drawing. I don't wanna see insufficient money, okay? That was sad. All right, so we have one window in the front for the pilot. I mean, obviously. If he can't see out, he's just gonna crash it, you know? Little one behind it. And then a whole bunch more right next to that. Guys, we're gonna be so flipping rich. Oh, my goodness. It's gonna be so awesome. Let's draw the door. But I'm gonna draw it as if it's closed. Because here it's opened up, you know? And then all we need is that big engine right over here. What does it say? LS? That's never gonna fit, right? L-S-A-J-8-9. Oh, it is gonna fit. Kind of. There's also gold stripes and some red marking. I don't know what that's for, but I'm gonna draw it just to be sure. Then we've got that gold striping going all along and some kind of little logo thing over here. I'm gonna make it into a smiley face. All right, stand back, everyone. I'm ready to tap my phone screen. Here we go. One, two, three. Three! Oh! And it's gone! No. $30 million. We just got, we just got $30 million. Oh man, oh man. Hello, sir. Let's get out of here. Because now we gotta be able to draw the world's most expensive car, right? This is it. Please let me draw this thing. It looks so awesome. I'm gonna start with the back over here. Then go right for the bottom and the front wheel arch. And then this is gonna be the bumper, right? Yeah, like this. And then it swoops up and down. 
like that and it's got a massive wing in the back oh guys i think we can draw it i, I actually think we can draw it this is gonna be so epic fill that in just like that beautiful oh i'm so excited to see how much this thing is worth all right and now we're gonna give it some wheels right over here of course and right over here there you go that's a it's not a nice wheel but we got it oh and the wing is attached with some kind of carbon fiber looking stuff all right then we've got an inlet which runs all the way the length of the car this thing looks so epic and we also got the cutest little mirror right over here all right that's the windshield oh it looks expensive i guess we have some kind of diffuser over here right yep and that massive exhaust that looks like a jet engine now the wheels are kind of weird they've got this like light purplish color hey did i not color match that perfectly or what beautiful oh mamma mia and some red brake calipers like this guys i don't want to brag but that's a nice drawing right <laughs> let's see if we can turn it to money one two three oh and we did it oh Look at all this money. No way. We're collecting it. We're collecting all this money. 50, 60, 70, 80. 100 million dollars. I have drawn Sonic, so let's bring him to life. One, two, three. And there he is. Now let's make him cursed with some giant horns. I want to bring to life the most evil Sonic that has ever lived. And some more right over here. If my drawing is accurate enough, we can transform Sonic and bring him to life. Totally cursed. Now let's give him some eyeballs right over here on his belly gonna color that in just like that today guys we're gonna draw every cursed sonic and there they are eyeballs on his belly guys i want to see what this looks like but then we have to finish this drawing first so let's give him some really dark eyes just like sonic.exe but this one is gonna be cursed so let's give him big spikes over here as well large horns that stick out that are pointy and sharp and stuff also i'm gonna chop off his entire arm oh wee that's not gonna be pretty but that's the point it's cursed one two and three no way guys oh, wait, wait, wait he's coming this way we gotta hide from him he's all cursed if he sees us he's gonna destroy us look at him though oh my goodness he's got all the horns and stuff you know what guys we're gonna draw knuckles and bring him to life but this time i am immediately gonna make him cursed i gotta hurry up though because eventually sonic is gonna find us and probably eat my face so this is gonna be knuckles's head gotta figure out how we can make him cursed though he's got some ears of course right up on top like that and those are kind of orangey you know just like that his eyes are just as dark and evil you know like the cursed sonic right over there oh he's actually missing an arm though oh that's what i get for drawing it knuckles has got some dark evil eyes of course i'm gonna give him spikes inside of his eyeballs oh man oh these cursed sonics are really cursed just like that wow oh <laughs> wait now let's give him a mouth right over here here. Colored it in, of course. And a nice little nose. Now for his body. We're gonna put some spikes on there too. That's right. He's gotta be strong enough to fight the cursed Sonic. And that dude has got a lot of spikes. Look at him. He's even got a tail. Wait, did we draw that? And now for the spikes. Oh, yes. All over his belly. As if it's a mouth. Oh, yes. Like a real cursed monster, you know? Oh, guys, this is so fun. I can't wait to bring him to life. Come on, more spikies. Now, let's give him some arms. Left and right. Some legs, of course. He's got to be fast and stuff, right? Just like Sonic over there. And some boots. Yep, just like that. But you know what? Let's put some spikes on his head as well. Oh, yeah. And then some hands. And then he's done, I think. Oh, he's got to have some knuckles, right? There you go. Those are the knuckles. Let's see if he's cursed and let's see if we can bring him to life. One, two, three. Yo, look at that. No way. <gasps> look at all those spikes. That drawing worked so well. Oh, man, they're fighting it out, though. They are fighting it out. We got to draw cursed Amy. Maybe she can break up this fight. All right, so believe it or not, this is going to be her head, which looks uh, kind of kind of weird. But, you know, it's supposed to be cursed. So I think it's going to be all right. going to give her some ears. These are a little bit longer. Beautiful. And there's some bigger ears right up on top. Kind of cursed, but it's gonna be alright. Because Amy is nice, isn't she? Well, actually, when she's cursed, I don't think she will be nice. Give her a little mouth thingy over here. Not too happy, because after all, well, you guys know it, right? They're cursed. You gotta draw it accurately, otherwise she's not gonna come to life. A little bit of a nose. And then her eyes right over here. I don't think Amy is so evil that she has got these really dark eyes like those two dudes over there. So she probably looks a little bit more like this. With some 
some green eyes, just like that. Oh, and a red dress. Yep, that's gonna be Amy, all right. But how are we gonna crucify her? Yeah, that sounds cool. I think I've got an idea, guys. That's right. Some giant spider tentacles. Ooh, that is gonna be so cursed. Let's give her some regular legs too, though. She's not gonna walk on those tentacles, is she? All right, let's make two more over here. Oh, man. Uh, damn, we're gonna put some big spikes on there. Ooh, very cursed and dangerous. And some shoes, of course. You gotta have some shoes. These guys are still kind of fighting it out. The boat's still alive, though. Kind of, so it's okay. But Amy has got some white in her shoes as well. There you go. Wait, she's got no arms. Well, I guess she's got those tentacles though but yeah here you go and now some actual hands just like that color those in and that should be a slightly cursed amy one two three yeah she's brought to life and look they stopped fighting whoa but look at those tentacles though no way whoa that looks even more cursed than what we drew all right let's draw the next cursed sonic before something bad happens wait what is tails doing here doing the tails oh no we gotta make him cursed gotta quickly draw him but i can only draw him from the back let's see this is gonna be his head which does kind of look like a pikachu right now but if we draw tails and then make him cursed maybe he can survive whatever those dudes are doing oh man i should have known i should have known they're totally evil man all right and now for his body right over here color that in quickly nice and then those tails of course he's got about three yep and some legs he's waving his arms like crazy so let's make him wave and give him some gloves of course and his tails are kind of white and stuff but i can't draw that so i'm just gonna do an outline yep just like that then he's got some red shoes all right so this is the back of tails the way we see him right now except i forgot some of these things there you go now we're going to give him some big spider legs just like amy but these are gonna be really gnarly oh yes they have like these weird little textures on them as if they're rotten away like a cursed zombie oh yes it's gonna be beautiful they're gonna be massive and scary scary enough that these other cursed dudes don't eat him alive he's gotta come to life he's gotta be one of them let's give him some big spikes coming right out of his head as well oh yes this is gonna be the best one yet and spikes coming out of his hands too guys i've got a plan for the most cursed sonic ever that is gonna be crazy but i don't want to draw him just yet if we draw him now he's definitely gonna destroy me so we need these other cursed dudes to kind of distract him you know so now let's transform tails into a cursed dude one two three whoa oh my is that the back of him why is there a giant eyeball? I didn't draw that. Whoa, he is so cursed. Oh my goodness. And look, it worked. The other cursed dudes are not attacking him anymore. All right, so let's draw the... Wait, 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 where are they going? I was about to draw the very last Sonic. Wait, where are they going though? Oh, wait, I think I know. They're running towards the giant Sonic.exe head. Oh no, there they are. They're probably gonna want to enter or something. Right, let's hide right over here. And now I can draw the last one. I can hurry up, though. This is going to be Shadow. The cursed dude we could not draw before because he is so crazy cursed. But now I have no other choice. These guys are gonna do something with the giant Sonic.exe head. And we gotta finish this drawing before that happens. So this is the head of shadow and he's got of course those large spikes in the back which is just his hair it's not really cursed yet hello what did i hear i heard something oh it's beginning but yet this is just his hair just like sonic right now for his body beautiful and then we can finally start making him cursed well, i gotta give him some legs first of course now for his eyeballs he's got some really weird large eyeballs that are really cursed then he's got three large spikes right over here yep just like that oh boy beautiful drawing by the way of course these are filled with red this is shadow's color scheme all right but it's got to be cursed oh boy shouldn't forget to color in his ears of course that's kind of the same with everyone from sonic huh very nice and now for his mouth it's just gonna be a bunch of teeth and stuff. Time for his belly. And then some more white hair. I think right over here, huh? And some huge horns coming from his mouth. Oh, yes. This is gonna be crazy. Then there's more horns coming from behind his back, going all the way forwards like this. It almost looks like an arm. Oh, man, that looks kind of weird. That makes Shadow really strong in the video before. That was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, that was pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> all right, now for the last horns, everyone. That's gonna make him 
Brit Takers. And I shouldn't forget to give him some blocky shoes. His shoes are really blocky for some reason, you know? A little bit of gold, a little bit of white, and that should be his shoes. Let's do give him some arms. There you go. And some gloves. Because he's gotta look like Shadow, of course. Beautiful! Wow, that looks cursed already! Guys, I'm so ready for this. Let's bring him to life. One, two, three! Oh, oh man, what happened? Wait, where are they going? Where is... Wait, wait, where's the cursed shadow? Oh no! Oh, look at us! We want one of them! No way! We are the cursed shadow! Look at us! Wow! Look at the mouth! Oh, no way! What a beautiful drawing, guys! We totally did it! I drew baby long legs and now he's trapped in fire! Mommy, what can I draw to rescue him? Oh no! Uh, uh, quickly, quickly! I'll draw PJ Pokemon! Don't worry, mommy! I can draw that! Let's draw his head first. It's more of a shape like this. I'm gonna color that in. And if I draw this correctly and tap my screen three times, PJ Burger Pillar should be brought to life so that he can rescue baby long legs. Now, PJ Burger Pillar has got two ears right over here. And there's some blue stuff right over here. And he's got super cute eyes. All right, this doesn't look so cute, though. I gotta admit. But it will look cute. And it has to look cute. Because if the drawing is not accurate, the game will not recognize it. And something bad will happen. Now let's give him his happy mouth. Give him some teeth. That's right. I'm kind of a dentist now because I'm going to bring his teeth to life. And then his tongue, just like that. Body is kind of weird though. It's like these weird little sections, you know? Alright, I think he has one more body part over here. But it does really fit on my phone screen. Oh, this better be accurate enough. Give him some hands or feet or whatever these are. Just like that. Beautiful. And now it's time to tap our screen to bring the first Secret Poppy Playtime toy to life. One, two, three. He's gone from my phone and whoa, in the game. Oh my. But he looks really weird. James, you did it wrong. He cannot rescue baby long legs. Quickly, make him big. Make him big. I think I know how to do that. We just draw a really big green arrow. This should tell the game to make PJ Pocket Pillow really big. Just like Mommy Longlegs, but maybe even bigger. So let's see if we can rescue Baby Longlegs. One, two, three! The arrow is gone from my phone and so is PJ Pocket Pillow. Whoa! Oh, there he is! Look how big he is! Oh, man! Can you rescue Baby Longlegs over there? But wait a minute. I don't think he can do that. He's made out of cotton candy. He's just gonna melt. Oh, no, oh, no. I think you are right. Guys, we gotta draw another secret monster. Let's give this one a hat. If you guys have paid close attention to this game, then maybe you know who I am going to draw right now. This is a terrifying monster. I think it's way scarier than PJ Pogapillar. All right, big ears over here. Very big ears indeed. The other side as well, just like that. Oh, and this one is gonna come to life beautifully. It's a little bit of darker yellow, I guess orange inside of his ears, just like that. Now for some eyeballs. Nice and large because this bunny looks pretty cute at first, but then gets real scary real fast. Don't worry, baby long legs. It's all gonna work out. Let's give this bunny a nice little body just like that. Oh, I love drawing. Some arms, of course. And those signature symbols. The sounds these things make are just terrifying. Oh, I hear it in my dreams. Let's not forget his little jumper. Yep, just like that. And maybe this stuff is fire resistant so you can rescue baby long legs. Speaking of long legs, you're not gonna get very long legs because I am all out of screen space. See, guys, it just like barely fits on my phone, you know? We gotta make a big drawing so that we don't make the mistake like we did with PJ Pogger again. All right, big smiley mouth. Very scary mouth. Actually, not that scary, especially with this big tooth in the center. <laughs> Guys, come on. This drawing is beautiful. One, two, and bring it to life. Three. He's gone from my phone and in the game. Come on, buddy. You gotta rescue him. Here you go. Nice and careful. Ah! Oh, no. What is burning? Oh, no. Puzzle bunny. Oh, no, quickly, quickly, draw a fire extinguisher. There you go, color that in, nice and fast. There's probably some kind of black thing at the top here with a handle and some kind of warning sticker thing. All right, it just has to work. One, two, three. Yes, I got it, I got it. Oh, no, wait, 
There's a bunch of body. Oh, oh, these flames are way too hot. I, it's not enough. It's not enough, mommy. What do we do? Oh, oh, draw Owen. Owen, the oven can withstand heat. Owen, the oven? Wait, I think I know how to draw that one. It's literally an orange oven, but with a face. And it's a toy, a secret toy from Poppy Playtime. Very different from the other toys. Because it's literally an appliance, you know? So then he's got some blue at the top over here here and i think his name is written inside somewhere i think he had some yellow buttons over here oh that looks good and then a panel right in the center over here with his name i don't think i can write that though just gonna try it owen I'll take it. And then his eyes are right over here. Oh, it's coming together, guys. Oh, right, right, right. And there's a handle right over here, which makes him look kind of angry. It's like a giant unibrow. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And then he doesn't really have a mouth, but... Well, I guess he does. It's just the opening of the oven, you know? And because he is an oven, he can withstand all the heat from the fire. And then maybe he can rescue baby long legs. Oh, what a beautiful drawing. Now, I think there's some red over here. And there's some dark orange right over here and over here. And inside of his mouth is this kind of rack looking thing. And it's yellow. Well, this is what he looks like when he's brand new out of the Poppy Playtime factory. Let's see if we can bring him to life. Three! I think it worked. He's right over there. <gasps> Watch out for the fire, though, man. Don't worry. He can take the heat. That's right, Bobby. But how is he going to rescue baby long legs now? After all, he cannot move, man. Oh, oh, oh. We did not think about that. We didn't think about it. You're supposed to know. All right, you know what? Let me draw something. I'm going to draw a giant toilet. And if you're wondering why, I'll show you my genius plan, all right? So here you go. That is a... Uh, very big toilet. Just need a lid over here. There you go. Little flushing thingy. And it kind of looks like he has a smiley face, you know? We gotta draw this. One, two, three. The toilet is gone from my phone, which means it should have worked, but I don't see it. Oh my goodness, I see it. That is a big toilet! And on top is a secret toy. I wanna draw it, but I, I gotta get to it. What if I draw a quick helicopter? These are not as detailed as the secret toys from Poppy Playtime, so I can draw it pretty quickly. There you go, little rotor in the back, little rotor on top, little bit of a landing gear thingy. That should already be enough. One, two, three. It's gone, so it should be yep, in the game. Don't worry, baby long legs. I'm gonna get the help for you. That secret toy up on the toilet. He should be able to help us out. Let's go all the way over here because I see the toy. <gasps> no way. All right, let's land it. Oh. And you there, Sir Poops a lot. Can you help us rescue baby long legs who's all the way down there? No, I'm about to grab it and have her arm. Oh, we're gonna draw him. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna do something pretty dangerous with which is drawing Daddy Long Legs while we are flying. But the regular Daddy Long Legs is not gonna be strong enough. So we gotta draw one that is a little bit better. That means he will not have one head, but he will have three heads. So this is his big body, just like that. Gotta color that in. Nice, I'm still flying this helicopter, oh my goodness. And over here, he's gonna have a head. Right over here, he's going to have another head. Now give him some mustache, there you go. Actually, three of them. Draw another few heads. Oh, just like that. I can almost land the helicopter. Let's draw some eyes. Beautiful. And touchdown. All right. Now I can carefully continue the drawing. Almost done, baby long legs. Just gotta put some eyes in there. And it's starting to look like daddy. When oh, I shouldn't forget the detail in his head. And of course, he has these really long arms and really long legs. Oh, that looks really weird. He has yellow hands and yellow feet. Ooh, but I don't know if the game is gonna recognize this. But we've got only one choice. One, two, three. Daddy is gone from my phone. Is he here? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, look at the three heads. Daddy, daddy, daddy. You gotta rescue your baby, man. No, I am afraid. Well, fine. Then I got a smart solution. I am going to draw two arrows. And they are in reverse, kind of like this, in a circle, right? If I tap this, then Daddy Longlegs and I should switch bodies. And we can rescue Baby Longlegs. One, two, three. Whoa! No way! 
We can't really draw anything. Look at that. That's me over there. All right, baby long legs. Come over here. I'm gonna grab you. I put you right over here. Wow, and there's steam coming off of him. We're gonna draw everyone from the long legs family and bring them to life. Starting with mommy long legs, who we drew in the last video. That's right, Huggy, and we're gonna bring her to life by tapping my screen three times. One, two, three. She's gone from my phone and check it out. We brought her to life. Wow, I can't even see her. Mommy is alive. Mommy wants you to draw. Daddy Longlegs! Daddy Longlegs? No way, right? I can draw him. Just tell me. Well, what does he look like? Oh, really? Dude, tell me. Really? All right, let's take a look at mommy. Let's draw her body or his body, but then blue. Color that in real quick, just like that. And I think now, if we look at mommy, she's got really long arms that are a little bit of a lighter color. So let's give Daddy Longlegs the same thing, just like this. Oh, and if we finish this drawing and do it right, we're gonna bring him to life. There you go, that's another arm. Now, let's take a look at her hands. Ooh, she's got some kind of wrist thingies over here. Just like that. Then pink hands. <laughs> Really? Just like you, Huggy? So I have selected yellow to draw his hands. Guys, this is crazy. He looks like Mommy Longlegs, but also kind of like Huggy Wuggy. All right, let's take a look. Mommy also has a lower body. Let's put a little connecting thing over here. And then his lower body right over here. Guys, I got a lot of drawing, right? Oh, I want to see what Daddy Longlegs looks like. This is pretty nice, right? <laughs> Thank you, Huggy. Now for his face, let's see. Mommy has a long neck, and it's all lighter color so i think it's a light blue for daddy long legs kind of a round head right just like that and now we gotta draw daddy's face mommy knows he has eyes like me but red really so those are quite big eyes just like that but then red i can give him a little red there you go Ooh. and i think yeah some pupils as well just like that whoa daddy's gonna look scary oh and daddy also has Brown. A brown hat, you say? All right, we can give him a little hat just like this. Yeah, no problem. Yes, and also a mustache. Ooh. A mustache, sure, you say? All right, well, we can give him a nice dark blue mustache. There you go. Is that it? Well, I'm just guessing he also has a smile. Just like mommy long legs. But maybe a white smile, right? A white one. There you go. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, and don't forget his bow tie. All right, so does he have that, like, right over here or something? I'm gonna draw it yellow because I think he's got yellow accents, right? <laughs> Buttons on his shirt, you say? All right. Let's just draw a few then. Maybe he also has some pockets over here. All right, so let's take a look. Mommy has really long legs, right? That's why they're called long legs. Let's grab the light blue again and draw him some really long legs. It doesn't really fit on my phone screen anymore, though, so I'm gonna draw it like this. Beautiful! Mommy, how is this drawing looking? What do you think, huh? Mommy likes it! Well, you know what? I like it, too, and I'm looking at your shoes right now, and those are... Uh, let's see, the dark pink, right? Let's do the same thing as with his hands. So we have a little bit of a connecting thing. Because they're toys, right? And then give him yellow shoes. I don't know if this is true, guys. Now, I don't mean to brag, but this looks absolutely beautiful. Don't you agree, Mommy and Huggy? Let's bring him to life. One, two, three! He's gone from my phone, but I only see Mommy. Whoa, wait a minute. Is that Daddy Lilix? Why is he so small? Oh, he looks just like we drew him, though, but I think I drew him too small. Oh, no! You there, can you maybe draw me? a little bit bigger. Ah, oh, wait, he talks. Oh, of course he does. They all talk. Yes, of course I do. And I am really small. Yeah, you are really small. All right, um, um, how do we draw you bigger? Do you know those grab bags? Yeah, I think I do. Well, draw me a green hand that will activate me and make me really big. Oh, <gasps> really? All right, let's do that. So the hands of the grab bag are really straightforward. They don't really look like human hands. They're more like robot hands, you know? Kind of like that. I think I'm missing a finger over there. Let me try that again, all right? Here you go. That is more what I'm talking about. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's just see. One, two, three. Oh, it's gone from my phone, and I think, yep, it worked. Oh, he's massive. No, do our baby. Baby long legs? No way. What does he look like? He looks like a combination of us. Yes, like mommy and daddy. 
Daddy. All right, so um, I'm thinking green, and I'm going to start with their head. They both have a round, round head, so I'm thinking their baby must have it, too. Now, these two have pretty long bodies, but I think the baby is small, so it probably only has one little body like this. All right, so we get a face and a body, and I'm guessing it's green. Now, let's give him a nice, happy mouth. There you go. Really big mouth. Very big mouth for big, hungry baby. That's right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that didn't make a lot of sense. Now, let's give him some orange eyes. There you go. Oh, and it's a baby, right? We gotta give it a diaper. Oh, yes. Big brain idea. Just like that. He's gonna diaper. Just like mommy and daddy, some really long legs. Long, skinny legs. That's probably the tallest baby I've seen in my life, though. All right, let's give him some arms as well. He's really happy. It's a happy baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not so thick, man. Come on, though. No, not like that. Like this. Yes. Now, let's see. Mommy has pink hands and daddy has green hands. That's not green. I mean, yellow, of course. So, I'm thinking that maybe the baby has got some really light blue, almost cyan-looking hands, you know? Kind of like this. Yeah, not bad. Oh, wait. We need a connecting thing. Let's do the same color as his eyes. Just like that. And we're gonna do the same for his little boots. His little baby boots. That's right. There you go. We got mommy long legs. We got daddy long legs. Now, we're just gonna draw the last one. And that is the baby long legs. Can we bring it to life? I don't know if it's a her or a his, you know? Or him. Whatever. One, two, three. Uh, daddy? Yes, mommy. I don't I don't think so either. Wow, it, it, it's gone from my phone, but that's not baby long legs. That's a boogie bot. <laughs> yeah, I know you do, but we gotta draw the baby, man. Maybe you should start with the right color. Yellow. Yes, the shape was all right. This thing is orange. All right, let's draw the head. Color that in. Then the body over here. Color that in. Just like that, because we gotta reunite this family, you know. Again, look at my hair. And then my mustache. Right, so it's curly. Uh, let's see. Let's let's just put it right on his head like this. Yeah, and then some arms. We're gonna make those a lighter color, just like this. His legs, of course. Oh, and this is looking way better, guys. Now we're gonna draw his diaper again, because that's a feature we want to see, right? It's baby long legs, after all. There you go. Just like that. And we're gonna draw hands and feet. And let's make him nice and the same color as the hair. Oh, this is gonna be it, guys. This looks really good. There you go. Just like that little hand over here. Oh, he's gonna be adorable, right? Or is he gonna be totally evil like Bobby Longlegs? Big smile. Here we go. This is a happy baby. Oh, yes. I already love it. Look at that. Oh, we're gonna give him one tooth over here. Look at that. <laughs> now for his eyeballs. Nice and big. Very cute, you know? Yeah. Yes. And then we're gonna have orange in there, just like that. And some black, of course. Oh, this dude is adorable. Ladies and gentlemen, is it gonna be baby long legs? Only one way to find out. We're gonna bring him to life in one, two, three. Oh, there's my baby. How are you doing, little one? <laughs> Oh, he's gone for my phone. And guys, look at that. We drew baby long legs and brought him to life. <gasps> now the whole family is here. This is Moon and we're going to draw him into a god. Starting with his head, which kind of looks like a moon. We are drawing him all gold to turn him into a god. This will be his neck, just like that. And this will be his body. Now, if we draw him correctly, he will come to life in GTA 5. And maybe then we can open this portal to rescue. You Vanessa because she is stuck in space. So let's give Moon some arms and some legs. Sorry, guys, those are just his joints, all right? <laughs> it wasn't a really small arm, though. That would be weird. All right, just like this. Beautiful. Oh, now let's color him in a little bit because if my drawing is not accurate to the real thing, he's not gonna come to life in the game. And then Vanessa will be stuck in space forever. Moon also has those hands, right? Yes, he does. Kind of long fingers, though. Oh, and the shoes are those pointy things. Oh, I like those. There you go. Go. Just like that, right? There you go. Oh, and he's got those lights over here as well. And also on his arms. I do wonder what he's doing, though. He's just running in place or something. Oh, it's kind of it's weird, Moon. You gotta calm down. I think he really wants to become a god. All right, guys. That's about as beautiful of a drawing as I can make. You just gotta give him a face and then he will be brought to life. He does have a big smile over here. There you go. All right. And those red eyes. Ooh. 
And I shouldn't forget his head, of course. There you go. It comes around the back like this, right? He's starting to look a little bit like Super Sonic, though. <laughs> and a finishing touch. Guys, let's see if we can upgrade Moon. Bring him to life as a god. Wait, no. The last detail is to turn him into a god with giant wings, of course. So those are gonna be in the back. Kind of... Kind of like this, I think. He will also have a giant moon over here. Remember, guys, he's gotta be a god. All right, that does look like a banana. But you know what? It's a moon, all right? Let's see if he can come to life as a god. One, two, three. He's gone from my phone and I don't see him anymore. Oh, oh, but look at that. God, moon, you are alive. Now, can you open the gate so we can rescue Vanessa? Not quite yet. I need more divine power. More divine power? Yes, to open the gate to God's oh, 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 but I can do that. Let's pull out my phone again. And let's draw God's son. Starting, of course, with his head. He's got this, well, sun rays, kind of, right? I mean, the dude's entire head looks like a sun. I wonder where he got his name from then, huh? This time, we're also gonna give him wings. <gasps> and another giant sun or something to really turn him into a god, of course. Ooh, this is gonna be great. All right, now we're gonna color in his head. And just like moon, he's got some kind of uh, moon shape here. Yes, just like that. But instead of red eyes, sun actually has white eyes. Hey, actually, this god also... Also has white, no wait, gold eyes. Oh well, let's give him a body just like this. Very nice color that it, of course. Guys, I love drawing so much, right? Especially when it comes to life. And now let's give his shirt or but it's not really a shirt, it's more of a creepy body. Let's give him some buttons. And also a halo above his head because I just noticed Moon also has that. All right, and I shouldn't forget those wings. They kind of go like this, right? Yeah, I mean, that's starting to look like a spider though. Oh no, I don't want this drawing to fail because if it fails, what are I gonna get? The god moon, of course. Excuse me, god sun. Always mixing up these daycare attendants. <laughs> now for his pants. He's got pretty funky looking pants. Kind of weird. Kind of uh, kind of old school, you know? But hey, there's nothing wrong with a little old school. Now before we bring him to life, guys, if you want to see more drawing, because drawing is so fun, right? Subscribe and enable notifications. And we're gonna give this some more stripes for our good friend sun. And then some boots. I think they are the same shape as moon. But I'm running out of screen space. Oh no, my... my my phone is too small. It's fine. We're gonna make it nice and accurate so that the game knows what we are drawing. Does Sun also have those things on his shoes? I don't know. But we're gonna draw him just to be sure. All right, then we still need some arms, of course. There you go. Just like that. Nice and gold. Nice and holy so that we can rescue Vanessa. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta get some hands in here, of course. He's, he's gotta have some hands, right? There you go. Oh, it's an absolute beauty. Let's bring this masterpiece to life, guys. Three, two... No, wait. The other way around. One, two, three. That's more what I'm talking about. He's gone for my phone. So let's see, he is right up there. No way. Look at that, guys. Ooh, that's amazing. Son, 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 you gotta help us out, man. We gotta open this portal so that we can rescue Vanessa. Of course. We just need a sacrifice to open it. Oh, right. I forgot about sacrifice. A sacrifice? I, I, you, you don't mean me, right? Yes, you. Or if you can draw something. Oh, oh, I, I can draw something. Wait, my phone, my phone. I can draw something right here. Then bring it to life as a sacrifice. Yes, we need Chica. <gasps> I know. We're gonna draw a god Chica. And we can use her as a sacrifice to open the portal. So this is her head. And she's got some little hair thingy sticking out. And she's got a body like this, I think. Yep, that doesn't really look like a chicken yet. But we're getting there. She's got some shoulder pads that are kind of all more right over here. Yes. She's also got a beak. Kind of like a chicken, just like that. All right, that just looks like a square, though. Hold on. Open mouth. There you go. Just like that, Chica. A few eyeballs. Because, you know, she's got to be able to see. There you go, Chica. Oh, beautiful. And let's give her some eyebrows. There you go. There. <laughs> what is that? I'll tell you what it is, guys. It's a god Chica. And it's going to be glorious. So she's got some arms like this. All right, why is one arm so much thicker than the other? <laughs> And, of course, a few legs over here. All gold and holy, of course. I'm just gonna do this one a little bit quicker. I think the game will understand that we're drawing god animatronics, right? It's not so hard. I mean, it doesn't really look like a god chica, but it's it's fine, guys. Let's tap it, all right? One, two, three. She's gone from my phone, which means we have another god animatron. Wait a minute. That doesn't look like a god chica. Hold on. Oh, no. What happened here? <gasps> 
Guys, what kind of chica is that? Oh no! I must have totally messed up the drawing, son! What do we do? Pull up your drawing. Turn her into a god. I can still turn her into a god? All right, all right, all right. Let, let me check this out. So this is the drawing that we just made. Just gonna give her a little bit more detail. We clean up her design. Maybe we can still rescue it. There we go. That's a little bit of a nicer hand. Not as creepy and nightmare-like as that thing up there. Just gonna make it nice and clean and nice and godly. Let's fix her feet as well. There you go. That's much better. Now let's give her some more details. This godly chica has got them all. I think she also has a bracelet over here and over here. I'm not sure about that though. Slightly bigger shoulder pads. Now let's change her hair as well. Do something a little bit nicer. Sir, there we go. This looks much more like a god chica, all right. Goes to show, guys, you really gotta pay attention to make a careful drawing. Otherwise, it can all just go wrong. Also, chica has got some earrings, I think. Normally, those are green, but this time, they're gonna be gold. And I think she also has a bow tie over here. Oh, this is way prettier. Yeah, if I compare this right here to that thing. Yeah, this is gonna be the one, guys. We're gonna tap it. Come on, please upgrade it to a god. I wanna rescue Vanessa. One, two. Three. She's gone for my phone, and so is that weird chica. <gasps> Add look! The details, the bracelet, the earring, even the bow tie! Yes, guys, the extra details did it! Now, to get more godly powers, Roxanne, Marty. Wait, wait, what's that? I will draw them to bring to life. Wait, you're gonna draw something? This is Roxanne. Now, go give her the key to us. Just like that. Give her wings. Yes, strong wings. More godly powers as well. And of course, a halo. Just like mine and moons. Now I shall tap. Bring to life Roxanne. Must make sure the details are there. I saw you draw, and I saw when the details matter. This will be good. Now, to tap. Three times. Three, two, one. Oh, son, what what did you just do? Whoa! Whoa. No way! Did son just draw God Roxanne to bring it to life? Listen, the portal is charging. They close just one more. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. All right, we can almost rescue Vanessa. Um, let's see. Who do I know? God, Monty! I know exactly how to draw him. This is the top of his head, and this is the bottom of his head. I know it looks weird, but it's gonna come together. Lots of gold, of course. His sunglasses right over here. His scary teeth. Mohawk right up there. And he's definitely gonna have to have a halo as well. Then his muscular body. Big shoulder pads. Oh, yes. Big arms as well. Beautiful. We're gonna draw him as big as possible. And some legs. And big wings. Wings. Oh, yes, this is gonna be awesome. Let's bring him to life. One, two, three. And he's gone. Let's see. Where is he? <gasps> he's on top of the portal. No way. And look at him. Listen to that. I think the portal has unlocked. Let's see if we can enter it. Three, two, one, jump. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, wait, are we in space? <gasps> We are hating it's Vanessa! We totally rescued her! Let's draw a zombie on my phone and bring it to life in GTA 5. This is gonna be the head of the zombie. And this is his neck. Just in case you're wondering, guys, we're at a graveyard at 3 a.m. That's needed, otherwise this zombie is not gonna come to life when I tap my phone screen three times. So this zombie has a very nice little shirt and it's like really old and kind of bleh, you know? And he's got a scar over here and he's got some... Uh, well, let's call it ketchup over there. And he's also got some arms right over here with some creepy claw-looking hands. Guys, our goal is to draw as many zombies as possible and live for as long as possible. But every zombie that we draw and bring to life in GTA 5 is gonna get more and more strong. Until eventually one is just gonna eat my face or something. So let's give this zombie a few pants. There we go. A zombie without pants? That would not be pretty at all. He's also gonna need some eyes. With really dark eyes like this. Oh, yes. And of course, he's gonna need a mouth. But zombies, they're not happy. They wanna eat brains and stuff. So he's gonna be sad. Very nice. And now all he needs is a few shoes. Does a zombie really need shoes? I guess so, right? You know, guys, this could be an alien and I would believe you. But it is a zombie. So let's see if we can bring him to life. One, two, three. He's gone from my phone and in the game. Now we gotta supersize him. But I can't really see the zombie. So let's 
Be very careful that he doesn't eat us. And let's quickly draw a flashlight. I want to see if our drawing has translated to the game nice and accurately. One, two, three. Oh, yes. Very nice. Now I can see him. <laughs> Whoa, that's a scary looking zombie. Hi, Mr. Zombie. Stay right there. I'm going to use a secret trick that we learned in another video. If you draw a giant green arrow and color that in entirely you can supersize anything in gta 5 now we used it to make some really big scary monsters that was awesome but now i want to see if we can make a big zombie oh yes it's gotta be a very big arrow of course the bigger i draw this the bigger the zombie is gonna be i'm going all out people this is gonna be an epic drawing all right now to finish it off you have to write Grow. G R O W. W W. Yeah, grow. So you can get nice and big, you know. <laughs> I want to see a big zombie. One, two, three. There's no more arrow on my phone screen, and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, those are some big zombie feet. No way. Whoa. <gasps> okay, that is a little bit terrifying. Oh my goodness, that's a giant zombie! Ew! Oh, oh, I don't like this at all! Guys, listen, I've got a plan, all right? This giant zombie in this dark, creepy, creepy graveyard is way too creepy. So we are gonna draw the sun. And maybe we can skip ahead in time a little bit so it's not 3 a.m. anymore. If we draw one more zombie... He's probably gonna eat our face. And my brains and everything else. Oh, boy. So in order to survive, I'm gonna draw this sun and tap it three times. Please make it daylight. One, two, three. Oh, and there's the sun. Oh, what a relief, guys. Oh, but now I can see him even better. Hold on. We gotta hide over here. We gotta draw another zombie. Maybe they can play together and become friends. But this one is gonna have to be absolutely massive and very hairy. I really wanna draw this one because this dude looks pretty hungry. And he's better off fighting some other giant zombie instead of eating me alive, you know? Oh, yes. Now we need a very large head as well, just like that, very hairy. Oh, and do you guys already know who I am drawing? Ooh, I know, but then again, I know what I know. And you don't know what I know. Unless you know I know what I know. But that would be very, very impressive. So let's give this zombie some big hands. Just like that. Some big feet as well, of course. Yeah. And a very strong muscular chest. Because this is a strong monkey. <laughs> oh, yes. A zombie monkey. Oh, yeah, right. Let's give him a little bit of a face. This is gonna be his mouth and these are gonna be his eyes. There you go. But he's a zombie, right? So let's give him some dark, scary, angry eyes. There you go. And a very large mouth that looks way too happy hold on he's a zombie man come on there you go scary open mouth and a bunch of well you guys know it right it's ketchup all right it's ketchup and definitely not something else now some big teeth <laughs> and this has gotta be a zombie king kong oh and i'm ready to bring him to life in gta 5 one two three wait what did he just say what is he doing hold on whoa no way. Um, guys, that's a really big zombie. Holy mackerel. Guys, we gotta stay back. Because that King Kong zombie is even bigger. We gotta sneak around. He's distracted by the other zombie. But if he sees us, he is definitely gonna eat us. I can't believe it, guys. We're actually gonna live here. Now, let's draw a super, super scary zombie. If you guys are subscribed to my channel, you probably know which monster I am drawing. With this time, we're gonna turn him into a zombie. That's right. It's gonna be Huggy Wuggy. But as a zombie, oh, and we gotta survive it. I've got a plan for it, guys. I know exactly what to do. So first, we draw him kind of regularly, right? Of course, he's got some blue legs. There you go. Yellow hands, just like that. Yellow feet. But now, we're gonna turn him into a zombie. So he's got, like, gnarly green stuff everywhere. And this hand, we gotta remove. Because it is literally just a bunch of bones. Ugh. And we gotta remove some of his arm as well. Because here too is a bone sticking out. <laughs> We're even going to cut out a little bit over here so that we can draw a rib cage. Guys, I'm telling you, this gotta be the most dangerous zombie yet. So we got some more bones sticking out right over here. Oh, yes. And of course, surrounding all of that is a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> well, uh, ketchup, of course. Because Huggy Wuggy, well, he loves hamburgers. <laughs> now, his mouth is normally 
all red and stuff because he is a zombie now it's all kind of worn out you know it's all old and withered so it's got a little bit of a different color and also a little bit of that dirt you know from being all zombie like let's fill in his mouth because of course he does have some really big teeth oh i am so excited to tap my screen and see if we can bring it to life i just love drawing guys i love drawing and bringing things to life there you go and now all of his teeth you can see the teeth of king kong that we drew but huggy wuggy has a whole lot more oh yes now for his eyeballs he's got one with a pupil and one that kind of hangs off to the side because it let go oh no poor huggy look at that <laughs> and of course we gotta give him his bow tie right actually i think we gotta remove that go away because zombie huggy i don't think he has that i'm just gonna draw it just in case ladies and gentlemen this is gonna be crazy one two three well he's gone from my phone and i think i see him <gasps> that is a giant huggy and not just any huggy it's a zombie <laughs> Whoa, what is he looking at us? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, he's totally gonna eat us. Hold on. Gonna hide behind this tree and draw one more zombie. Maybe then he can eat that zombie and not us. Let's draw a seriously big zombie. One with big muscles so that Huggy over there, you know, the big zombie Huggy, that's right, so that he has plenty to eat. There you go, with big hands, just like that. And then we just gotta color in the whole thing. This has to be the beefiest zombie in the world, because Huggy, I mean, he's gonna be pretty hungry if he's that big. I'm just gonna be a little snack to him, that's not good. I don't wanna be a snack. Definitely not a zombie snack. Look at these arms, though. This is a big zombie. Oh, yes. It's been a very long time since we saw the hulk and i do remember seeing him as a zombie that was a long time ago well, let's see if we can redraw him I do remember that he had some kind of brown pants but they were like really messy and old you know yeah i think kind of like this then he had some patches over here i think something like that yeah it's starting to look like it all oh, right and he had some shoes as well but those were also very old and yucky so i don't draw this perfectly for a reason. Yeah, it's totally because I'm, you know, really good at drawing. All right, let's give him some, some muscles over here too, you know? Just like that. Yes, nice. And he is a zombie, so he gets a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of that. Yeah, that's right. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, wait, hold on. I only just realized the man has no head. But his head is really short. Or should I say that his neck is really short? Because it's really low and close to his body like that. And he's very upset -y and uh, very mad. Yes, very mad. All right, guys. Does that look like a muscular zombie a hook to you? Because if it does, wow, you've got some good imagination. <laughs> Let's see if this drawing can come to life if I did a good job. One, two, three. Oh, he did come to life. Wait a minute. That's not the Hulk. That's someone completely else. Wait, is he coming for us now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he following us? Oh, oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Guys, what do we got to do? What do we got to do? This is really, really bad. He is actually coming for us. Guys, we got to draw something. This is not the Hulk at all. It's nice and slow. So we're just going to hide behind Zombie King Kong. Yes, right over here. All right, is he still coming? Yep, I see him. So I pulled up the last drawing that we made. Oh, we got to hurry up. I'm going to draw H-U-L-L. Okay, it's not a U. Come on, delete it. There you go. Hulk. Ah, oh, he's so close. I may have used the wrong colors. One, two, three. He's coming from my phone. And I see him. I see him right behind us. That is the zombie Hulk. The reason he came out so weird is because I used the wrong colors. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's literally right next to us. You know what? I'm going to draw a grenade. And we're going to throw that right at his silly face. We have got to survive. There you go. That's like a pin over here. It's something like that that you can pull. Yeah, that's going to have to do for a grenade. One, two, three. Awesome, guys. I've got it. Pull the pin. Throw it. And come on. Boom. Whoa. Jumped out of the way. Oh, but we got him. We got him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's still looking for us. <gasps> That's right. He can't eat this hook anymore. I know, guys. I know. We're going to draw a zombie that has to work. If this doesn't, I don't know any more zombies to draw. And then zombie Huggy is going to eat us alive. Oh, no, 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 no. But this... It's gonna be a great zombie. A zombie which we once bought for a dollar, I think. But this time, I have to draw it a lot more accurate than last time. Because that zombie came out really weird. It's looking great, though. This is a strong, 
very strong zombie with big hands that kind of look like claws. Just like that. Oh, yes. And he's got some big muscular legs over here. Oh, yes. Kind of like King Kong, actually. But not as hairy, of course. Gotta give this man some feet as well, guys. Do you know who this is gonna be? It is going to be... Believe it or not... Venom. Oh, yes. So we are drawing a large Venom spider right over here on his chest. It's a lot harder than it looks, all right. And now we're gonna give him some bones. Just like that. Oh, yes. This man is absolutely covered with his giant scary mouth. His venom eyes, of course. Ooh, and a lot of the good stuff. This is gonna be a scary zombie. A nice meal for Huggy. Now, let's see if we can bring him to life. One, two, three. Oh, I think we did it, guys. Check it out. Venom zombie is in the game. And now Huggy can eat him. I'm gonna tap three times on my phone screen. And then Sonic.exe should come to life right here in GTA 5. So, this is gonna be his body. And I think he's got a tummy right over here. And we need to make him evil. So, let's give him a hand. Head. And also that hair, of course. We must draw him very accurately so that the game knows we're drawing Sonic.exe. Otherwise, guys, this is not gonna work. So Sonic.exe has these large, dark eyes. Ooh, yes, just like that. I know exactly how to draw Sonic.exe. He's got a pretty sad mouth and a bunch of, well, let's call it ketchup, all right? Oh, yes. And red eyes. Oh, guys, this is looking like an evil Sonic. Oh, but he does need some arms, of course. Just like that and some legs. Oh, beautiful. And then I think his shoes are kind of red, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Just like that. A little bit of white. Oh, and let's give him some hands as well, of course. He's got these white gloves. Also with um <clears throat> a ketchup, all right? Something is missing, though. Oh, wait. Guys, I forgot his ears. Sonic has no ears now. Come on. He may be the evil dot .exe but it doesn't mean he has no ears. Color that in a little bit. And guys, we're gonna tap my phone screen three times. Bring him to life right here. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. Oh, wait, that's... That's not Sonic.exe. What? What are you? Wow, this one looks spooky. You know what, guys? Let's quickly draw a shadow. He's got a black body and then his head over here. He's got all this darkness, you know? He's very evil. He should know how to draw an evil Sonic. Yes, the Sonic.exe, the real one, not this fake one. One arm, two arms, quick little leg, and another one. He's got quite a bit of red right over here and right at his eyes. Speaking of which, let's give him some eyes. Yep. Very nice. And also a mouth. Shadow has to help us draw Sonic.exe and bring him to life. I think it's gonna work, though. I mean, look at this drawing. It's absolutely beautiful, right? But now we just gotta draw his shoes and his hands. Finishing touches, and let's see if we can bring Shadow to life. Come on, buddy, you gotta help us out. One, two, three. He's gone for my phone, which means another successful drawing. Wait, hold on. Shadow, why are you so big? <laughs> Alright, look, this is supposed to be Sonic.exe, but my drawing didn't work. <laughs> Guys, I know what Shadow is talking about, so I pull up the drawing that we used to bring to life this Sonic. But now we're gonna change it to make it into Sonic.exe with a cross right over here on his belly. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we have to trust uh, well, giant shadow. I was gonna say shadow, but he's really big. All right, let's see if this can bring to life Sonic.exe. Three, two, one. Oh, guys, that's pretty close, but it's not him. Ah, you wanna draw Sonic.exe? Ah, oh, wait, it talks? Oh, oh, that was weird. Yes, of course. Now, draw Sonic.exe. Ah. All right, so how do we draw him? Hey, wait, where is he going? He's trying to get out of here. Dude, wait, hold on. You gotta stop. How do we draw Sonic.exe? I need your help. Guys, while we are chasing him, I'm just gonna draw something to take him down. So the stun gun has uh, this kind of shape. Running and drawing is a bad idea. We gotta draw this quickly. Take him down. He knows how to draw Sonic.exe. All right, and then this thing has got some yellow. And over here as well. And a little trigger. Let's see what works. One, two, three. Oh, guys, I've got it. I've got the stun gun. Oh, no, I missed it. Yeah, blast. <gasps> I think we got him. He's on the ground. That's right, buddy. Now tell me, how do we draw Sonic.exe? Ah, fine. I'll help you draw Sonic. Evil, white, and 
impressive. Of course, that should be Sonic.exe. Because that one is very dangerous. So he's probably got really big arms and a large head. Just like that. Of course, he does have the hair and some ears and some big legs over here. And a little bit over here. Some dark eyes, of course. Yes, and a big scary mouth. All right, a big scary mouth. Yeah, let's do that. Just like this, right? And there's some <laughs> big scary teeth. Let's give him some boots, of course. Sonic always has those red boots. Doesn't matter if he's .exe, does it? All right, and a few gloves, just like that. Oh, and I shouldn't forget the finishing touch. Guys, this has got to be Sonic.exe. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? Where... Where's the Sonic? Oh, no, oh, I should have known. We are Warhawk, but that's not Sonic.exe. Now you are cursed, just like me. Ah. Why did you do this? Hey, where are you going? Oh, no. Guys, what do we draw? Now, wait a minute. I've got a cool plan. This is, of course, the drawing we made for the first one and also Lord X. Now, I am going to remove this cross again because otherwise we get that little dude again and he's super evil. There you go. And now, we're gonna turn this Sonic into a metal one. I know for a fact that Mecha Sonic is totally evil. So maybe he can help us draw sonic.exe so he's got these metal arms and legs and he doesn't have quite such a big belly so we're just gonna remove that a little bit actually i think all together because he's a robot right yes he's got something in the center some kind of reactor so let's color that in nice and dark and evil and then have just a little circle in there Yes, this is it. Don't think he's got any of the red stuff at his mouth, though. Wait, no, he doesn't have that at all because he's a robot, of course. So he's got a metal mouth. Oh, this is gonna bring him to life, guys. And of course, he's got those evil eyes, too, right? Yeah, okay, so let's keep those. Beautiful. Let's clean this up. Oh, yes. He's pretty unhappy, though. He's kind of evil, right? Okay, this just looks bored. <laughs> Wait, does he have metal ears as well? I think he does, actually. Oh, guys, a Mecha Sonic. <gasps> and he's got metal claws that's true all right those do look a little weird i gotta say one evil mecha robot sonic let's see if we can bring him to life one two three he's gone from my phone that can mean only one thing oh yes that is one evil robot sonic <laughs> It. This dude is actually drawing. No way. Hey, buddy, can I, can I see it? But does he know that you can tap three times to bring it to life? Angry. Oh, wait, what just happened? Is he done drawing? No way. Oh, oh, that's gotta be him. That's gotta be him. That is Sonic.exe. No way he did it. Guys, I mean, we kind of drew him and brought him to life. Let's draw Ultra Spider-Man because I know how to bring him to life using my drawing. So this is gonna be his body. And of course, we're gonna give him some arms just like that and some legs. The reason I'm drawing Ultra Spider-Man is because he can give us Spider-Man powers so we can fly through the city and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's give him some feet as well and some hands. And of course, a Spider-Man logo right over here on his chest. That kind of looks like a spider, right? Now for his head. Oh, man, that's a weird one. Come on, James. I can do a little better, right? There you go. We're gonna see if we can bring Ultra Spider-Man to life. I believe Spider-Man does have some, like, spider web textures, you know? All right, and some eyes that kind of look like that. Yep, just like that. Guys, that's gonna be Ultra Spider-Man. Oh, but wait. Ultra Spider-Man also has those spider legs in the back, right? And they're all gold and shiny. Ooh. Yes, guys, this is gonna be so cool. He's gonna come to life. Give us some Spider-Man powers, and here's how we do it. All I gotta do is tap the drawing three times. One, two, three. He's off my phone screen, which means he is in the game. Wait a minute, that's baby Spider-Man. All right, sorry, baby. 
Wait, wait hello? Was it that? Oh, wait, is that Venom? Yes, I am Venom. I will eat this little Spider-Man. <laughs> Oh no, this is terrible. We gotta draw someone else. I've got a plan, baby Spider-Man. We're gonna draw Gwen. So this is Gwen's hood. But of course, she's gonna be Ultra. And then this is gonna be Gwen's head. Just like that. Of course, she's also gonna have some spidery eyes. Just like baby Spider-Man. We gotta turn him into the actual Spider-Man. Because baby Spider-Man cannot give us any spider powers. <gasps> what if we can use those to defeat Venom? Because otherwise, he's gonna eat everything, right? Ugh. All right, so Gwen has these arms going up like this. She's very happy in this one. Then I think she's got a darker top or like, yeah, like this, right? Guys, I gotta draw it accurately. Clearly we didn't draw Spider-Man accurate enough and that's why we get the baby. I believe Gwen has these darker legs. Kinda like this. Man, it looks like an alien though. All right, a few nice little feet, just like that. All right, and I shouldn't forget her hands, of course. There you go, that should be, wait, 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 wait. I don't think Gwen has a spider pattern, right? You know what, let's just put that on there just in case. There you go, it's a little spidery texture. Just like Spider-Man. All right, guys, let's see if it works. One, two, three. Gone for my phone and brought to life in the game, that's Gwen. You look delicious. Oh, hey, I'm no longer my friend. What'd you do? We gotta draw him to get the Spider-Man powers. All right, tell me. I am ready to draw. Oh, I am ready to draw. Stop it right there. I need to get out of here. Oh, what do I want? Quickly, I need to draw my car. My Venom Lamborghini. I am gonna put Gwen in there. Drive home. Oh, I'm gonna eat her. <laughs> I am so hungry. She will be much more nutritious than baby Spider-Man. Yes, yes, and I will bring it to life by tapping three times. One, two, three. Ah, yes, perfect. Wait a minute, did he just draw this? Hey, what? A robot Spider-Man, how do we draw it? Oh no, they're gonna get out of here. Yo, baby Spider-Man, you can't help me out, man. All right, let's go. <laughs> Guys, I need to follow them, but we can't jump down. I will never survive. But wait, I know how to draw a robot Spider-Man. That's what Gwen said, right? This Spider-Man has really strong metal hands. So let's give those a different gold color. Kind of like this, right? It's kind of, you know, like that. If we can draw this, bring it to life, and put on the suit, we can jump all the way down and survive. Because only Gwen knows what we have to draw to bring to life the real Spider-Man. And then we can get some spidey powers to take down Venom. So let's give this dude some quick feet and some strong hands. Robot hands, yeah. I don't know if this one has a spider on his chest as well, but we're just gonna try it. There you go, a black one this time. Very nice. And a little bit of a spider head, of course. Ooh, this is so exciting. Now, here's the trick. I'm gonna draw my name right on the drawing. Okay, there we go. Maybe this will allow us to become that Spider-Man, but without the Spidey powers. One, two, three. Oh, guys, no way. I think it worked. <laughs> That's okay, baby Spider-Man. At least now we should be able to survive this drop. Oh, no. Wait, is that Gwen down there? He's still stuck. Oh, no, what happened? Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, we're alive. No way. Oh, I can't believe my gore has broken down. <laughs> no, that is a spider robot. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm not James. I'm a spider robot. And I need Gwen free. Fine. I will trade her for a Spider-Man zombie. An ultra one. Oh, really? We can trade? All right, Spider-Man zombie. I guess I can draw that. He's got these weird flimsy arms and then a body with a bite taken out of it yeah this spider-man zombie is not pretty but if we can draw it and bring it to life we can trade it with venom and then we get gwen back oh awesome all right let's give him some legs i guess one of the legs was more of a bone or something right yeah you could see some bones sticking through it and it's a really nasty spider-man but this time he's gonna be ultra so it's all gold whoop put a little hat on there oh man that's a weird one what in the world <laughs> and that ladies and gentlemen Gentlemen, it's gonna be a Spider-Man. I'm drawing it really scuffed because it's a zombie after all. It's not perfect, right? I guess he does have some really bony looking feet. <laughs> oh man, that one looks so weird. A right, little bit of a spider over here. I 
guess. Yeah, guys, I don't know if this is gonna be Spider-Man zombie, but that's only one way to find out. One, two, three. That looks like a successful drawing. He's totally brought to life. Hmm, that looks delicious. You think so? I mean, uh, yeah, totally so. Uh, can we trade for Gwen? Fine, you can have her. I know, now I want to get some Spider-Man powers. We have to draw Ultra Spider-Man. Oh, you need my phone? All right, well, here you go. Really? And then I will have Spider-Man powers, right? So is the drawing done? Wait, what do you mean it's not ultra yet? Oh, all right, so uh, can you bring him to life? Oh, Gwen, you did it! Oh, she's way better at drawing than I am! Oh, look at that Spider-Man! All right, so now we're gonna make him super ultra! Hey, but that's what I tried to do! Well, what do you mean it wasn't so... Well, I mean, it didn't really work. It turned into baby Spider-Man. But I think it was pretty close, right? Well, I guess you're right. So can you bring him to life? Whoa! No way, Gwen, you did it! Is that Spider-Man? So, so how do we get spider powers now? Giant spider! Yo, Gwen, give me my phone back, please. Thank you very much. And now I'm gonna draw a spider right over here. A nice big one. Oh, yes. It's gonna be a dark brown one with super big, scary spider legs. Ooh. And then Ultra Spider-Man over there. Apparently, he's gonna use this spider to give us Spider-Man powers? I don't know about this, guys. This sounds kind of weird. All right, so this is the head of the spider. And then this is the body of the spider. Ew. Yeah, with like a big tushy. There you go. Beautiful. Guess I gotta color this in with an even darker color. There you go. That's, uh, well, it kind of looks like a spider, maybe. Probably should have asked Gwen to draw this. She was way better at this. You know what? I think this came together quite well, guys. And let's give him a smiley face. There you go. He's a happy spider. <laughs> Actually, spiders have a lot of eyeballs, right? He's gonna get all out of them, just like that. Oh, man. Oh, ugh. oh it's kind of creepy, actually. Big spider coming to life in one, two, three. Oh, oh, we did it. It's a big spider. All right. So, what do we do, Ultra Spider-Man? Oh, are you sure? All right, here we go. Oh, it's totally biting me. Yo, I feel different. Whoa. No way. Whoa. Oh, we did it. We got Spider-Man powers. We're going to draw Mommy Longlegs and bring it to life in GTA 5. So, Mommy Longlegs has got this light pink face. And then she's got this darker pink hair that curls up like this. Yes, and she has a blue headband right over here. And then way more of those hairs. Oh, guys, this is going to be so awesome. All I got to do is tap my screen three times and she's going to be real. But that only works if the drawing is accurate enough. Otherwise, the game is not going to recognize it. Or worse, we got some kind of monstrosity. It's going to work out because we know how to draw and it is super fun. Well, this is just her face, of course. So let's give her that long neck. Ugh. And she's got like a headband over here or a necklace or something. But I don't know what it's supposed to be. And then this is her first arm. Her second arm. Oh, it's starting to come together. And then this is her body. She's going to come to life, though, guys. This is so cool. And now to draw her top just like that. And all we got to do is tap the screen three times. You guys know it. Does this not look like mommy long legs or what guys one leg oh beautiful oh my goodness look at that sticking out <laughs> oh no and her right leg is way more muscular oh yo it's gonna be a muscular mommy long legs little bit of blue over here as well and guys come on now that is a mommy long legs right little bit of a shoe another one oh yes let's bring it to life oh, wait, wait, we need a mouth few lips over here and then a nice smiley face yes guys look at that a little bit more hair that's the finishing touch all right guys let's bring it to life one two three oh no it didn't work she's gone for my phone but she's totally tiny that's a fake mommy long legs you know what guys i've got a plan we're gonna make her super big with an upgrade arrow 
just like this. All right, that was a little shaky, but you guys get the point, right? Mommy Longlegs is ginormous, and she likes to crawl around looking for people in the Playtime Co. factory. This tiny little thing is just a toy version. So let's make her nice and ginormous. One, two, three. It's gone for my phone, which means it's now time for Big Mommy Longlegs. That's not a big mommy Lonex at all. Nope, she is still the fake toy. And now we have a giant arrow. What am I going to do with this thing? Guys, we're going to draw Poppy Playtime. She knows everything there is to know about all these monsters. She knows about Huggy Buggy, Kissy Missy, Killy Willy, the whole Shazam. And she's got this beautiful red hair. Look at that. Just like mommy Longlegs, she's got those blue ribbons over here. And then, of course, her beautiful blue dress. This is only the top part. She's not this tiny, all right? I mean, she's kind of tiny, though. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy really has to help us out. Now for the rest of her little dress, just like that. Oh, guys, it's a work of art. I already know it. And then all we gotta do is tap my phone three times, and she's gonna be real. Look at those legs and feet. <laughs> that doesn't look so bad. But it's about to get worse. Because Poppy's got these big, scary eyes. They're kind of like red and stuff. It's really... Ugh. Really quite icky. And then those are nice and blue. Ooh, look at that. She's staring into my soul, everyone. Just like there with a little bit of black. Oh, yes. And she's got a tiny little nose. All right, that's a pretty big nose. But anyway, some lips over here. And then two of those cute little things to turn her into a Pikachu. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. It's just a little blush. And just a little bit of a smile. Come on, Poppy. You gotta help us out. We need Mommy Longlegs in the game. One, two, three. Three! Yes, guys, look at that, it worked! That is actual Poppy! Hey, what is this fake Mommy Longlegs doing here? I know, I know she's fake! I tried to draw her, but it didn't work out! That's because Huggy Wuggy is not here! And that's the favorite playmate of the real Mommy Longlegs! So draw Huggy fast! Oh, okay, yes, I will draw a quick Huggy, here we go! This is his head, just like that! Oh, and it's absolutely gorgeous! And then when we bring him to life, he knows... How to draw Mommy Longlegs properly? I must have done something wrong, guys. I did draw Mommy Longlegs as big as possible. I mean, this is a pretty big phone, but it's not big enough, you know? It's gotta be something secret that I just overlooked. So let's give Huggy his body quickly, quickly, so he can help us out. Guys, I'm having a great time right now. This is so cool. Let's give him some arms. There you go, just like that. Beautiful. Oh, and some short legs. I don't think he fits on my phone screen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. So Huggy has got these yellowish feet. There you go. Kind of like a dog. Yellow hands over here. And yeah, maybe if we give him a pencil, he can draw Mommy Longlegs for us. <laughs> Big scary mouth. Oh, yes. I think that might be one of the defining features of a Huggy. A big scary mouth. It's all dark in there, you know, just like this. Oh, yes. And then all he needs is some scary teeth. There we go. Just like that. Ooh. Yes, Huggy. Come to life, my man. Wait, he's got no eyes. If he can't see, he can't help us, of course. So there you go. <laughs> wow, that is one ugly Huggy. Oh, my. Oh, and I shouldn't forget his beautiful little bow tie, of course. There he goes. <laughs> That's Huggy, all right? One, two, three. I am Hey, Huggy. Oh, it worked. Now tell us, man, how can we get Mommy Longlegs in here? All right, you know what? That's a fair deal, man. I'm gonna draw Kissy Missy because that is Huggy Wuggy's girlfriend. <laughs> yes, I know you do, buddy. Don't you worry about it. So this is gonna be Kissy Missy. I don't think she can help us draw Mommy Longlegs. But if she makes Huggy happy and Huggy helps us, then we can still get her in the game. Guess I'm kind of done looking at this fake Mommy Longlegs. Oh, you think you're cool, huh? You're not really cool. All right, that was kind of mean. I'm sorry, fake Mommy Longlegs. <laughs> Let's give Kissy Missy some beautiful feet. That's a beautiful hands. Just like that. And then, of course, that big scary mouth. It's basically a pink Huggy. <laughs> nice and scary. Oh, yeah. And some big eyeballs. Cause Kissy Missy, well, she's got him. Beautiful. And we shouldn't forget the nice eyelashes. There's, wow, those are thick eyelashes. <laughs> a little bit too much makeup, Kissy Missy. And I think Kissy Missy also has like a little tie thingy over here, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's get her in here and see if we can get Mommy Longlegs. So huh? one, two, three. <laughs> No, but I, I can't. I already tried. <laughs> 
Oh, that's all. Draw a castle? You mean made out of sand or something? I mean, we are on the beach, so let's draw a sand castle. This is gonna be weird. Is Mommy Longlegs in a castle? She is not, right? All right, you know what? I'm just gonna draw some, like, towers and stuff. Maybe color that in a little bit. Oh, maybe we can have, like, a flag. Yeah, the flag of the Netherlands. Look at that. Beautiful. And then some kind of gate or, like, an opening. Yeah, that kind of looks like a castle. Made out of cheese. <laughs> One, two, three. Whoa, look at this. We got a whole castle. Hey, wait a minute. Where did the fake mommy long legs go? Quickly, James. Go aside. Draw mommy long legs. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, that's so weird. All right, you know what? We're gonna get into this castle. Wait, what? <gasps> this is amazing. Now, we gotta draw mommy long legs somewhere here. Yo, look at this. Hey, dudes, up here. <gasps> I'm all the way on top of the castle. Ah, 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 ah. Draw mommy long legs, but wait a minute. I still have my drawing? <gasps> yes, I do. I still have the previous drawing. So maybe now, because we're in the castle, it will work. Just to be sure, I am gonna write mommy right next to the drawing. Maybe there's like a secret code or something, you know? Maybe now the game understands we need the real mommy. All right, you know what? We're gonna try it. One, two, three. All right, she's gone from my screen again, but I don't really see her. Okay, I don't think it worked, man. I don't... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Are we the fake mommy long legs now? Oh, no. Guys, up here, it's me, James. I, I'm a fake mommy now. Uh, oh, 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 that is true. The only missing playmate. Oh, of course. We are missing Killy Willy. How could I forget about Killy Willy? If he is here together with Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy, then mommy long legs will have all of the playmates in one place. If we then draw her, we should actually bring her to life in the game so let's quickly give killy willy his uh, little body over here and of course also his arms and his legs just like that it's another absolute work of art thank you very much and killy has got a bunch of red stuff everywhere and he even has a mouth in his belly over here Ew. as well as a big mouth over here of course but it goes down like this it's almost like he's sad or something you know i mean his name is killy willy though you know <laughs> you can't really blame him so let's give him some hands and those are white so we just do a little outline like that and then this mouth gets a bunch of weird jagged teeth it's it's very gnarly this is not nice i mean if he attacks you he's gonna eat you twice once with his face or once with his belly i guess color in the scary mouth a whole lot more teeth of course and then three big eyeballs that have no pupils in them it's it's really weird i mean killy willy is just crazy you know look at that though that is a beautiful drawing if i may say so myself of course he's also got some more stuff over here are those also eyeballs i don't know it sounds kind of weird one two three he's gone from my phone so he's gotta be somewhere here oh hello there killy willy <laughs> no i'm not mommy i'm the fake mommy <laughs> Pull up the drawing. Wait a minute. I still got it. I got it right over here. Wait, there is actually a secret code? But it's not mommy. So we were doing the right thing, but we had the wrong code. So let's remove that. Now, Killy Willy, how do we get the right one? The first letter of every playmate? So who do we draw again? Right, so we first drew Poppy, then Huggy, then Kissy, and then Killy Willy. So is this the secret code? He H double K. It doesn't sound like a secret code. We're gonna see if it works. One, two, three. Oh, oh my. Wait, what happened to everyone? Oh wait, wait, that's her. No way. Killy Willy was right. That is the real mommy long legs. Yo, we did it. We drew her and brought her to life, guys. Thank you for watching and check out these videos. Ice cream, all right?